one thing I can say about our new album, The Forest Seasons, is that for the first time in my life, I got the production finally right. It's perfect. After over 20 years of insane work and dedication to learn music and music production, and dealing with the lack of resources and the frustration that comes with it, I finally succeeded making at least one album with the perfect sound. And by perfect, I mean the right sound. Some people probably know me as a bit of a hi-fi freak and always searching for the perfect sound. And that is true, but I know there's no perfection. But there is the right sound for every song and every album. What made this possible was the fact that the Forest Seasons represents a style of music that we could do with the resources we have. This album doesn't need the big budget high-end production. In fact, it would suffer from it. Because it needs to have a little bit of primitive and organic feel to it. Actually, the Forest Seasons is kind of a mix of primitive and modern sound. And that's what makes it really unique. And that's why we love it. The album is not over-polished, auto-tuned or triggered with machine-like drum samples. On the contrary, the sound of this album is more natural while still modern for a reason. Because it's about forest and nature season changes with also metaphors to the modern world. For example, for the guitars I used my old modeling app Tone Lab, which has been my secret weapon and has served me well for years. Killer lead sound, by the way. I tweaked the rhythm guitar sound to be a bit cold and harsh, but that's the right sound for this album. But this sound is only meant for this album. It would not work at all for Time 2 or our other feature albums, which are very different musically and have a totally different atmosphere. Those albums are meant to have purely high-end modern sound, which is the right sound for them. So they need to be perfect as well, now that I've set the bar that high. The Forest Season sounds massive and it easily holds up to my favorite mixing references, like Metallica's Black Album, Madonna's Confessions on a Dance Floor, or maybe some Imprints and Chloe, Carpenter Brute, Periphery or Andy Sneeps mixes, which I love. I've listened to the Forest Seasons on many speakers and headphones in different places and rooms, and it always sounds great. Let me be clear, an album with a big budget or a small budget doesn't actually mean the album is any better or worse. You know, whether an album production costs a million bucks in a high-end studio or a hundred bucks in a bedroom studio, it doesn't mean that the other album is any better or worse. They can be equally good or the smaller budget album could even be better. So the greatness of music isn't measured in money or even the complexity or simplicity of the music. It's all subjective. Certain style albums need a certain production, a certain sound. You need the right sound for every album to get your message, intention and vision across. Unfortunately, some albums need a sound that can only be achieved with high-end gear in high-end studios with expensive production. And then again, some albums would sound like shit with that production. I mean, imagine some black metal album with Metallica's Black Album sound, or the Black Album with a black metal sound. Just wouldn't work. Some albums require a cheap sound recorded in a basement to create the right atmosphere. And some albums need an expensive sound. That's just the way it is. What is important is that the vision and intention of the artist get across. Unfortunately, Time 1 and 2 are massive big budget albums. My mistake was that I didn't realize it when I started working on them. I thought I could make them with the resources I had, but oh how wrong I was. I mean, Time 1 doesn't sound that bad, 
but I failed in my true vision for it and I had to release it compromised. That's why we won't release Time 2 until we have our own studio where we are able to craft the right sound for it. Also the problem is that the future material I've written for Winter Sun requires expensive production as well. I've written lots of cheap production material too, like primitive black metal stuff, and of course I could spend my time recording that, and I probably will, if this crowdfunding doesn't work out. But it's not what we want to do. The material I've written and what we want to record is more futuristic and sci-fi oriented, out of this world material that we have shitloads already just waiting to be recorded. This is the music we are the most excited about and the most inspired to start working on and sharing it to the world. This is what we truly want to do. But we are not going to compromise the quality of these albums, so there's no way we can make these albums without our own proper studio. So we need our fans now more than ever to make this studio project and this future albums a reality. Yeah.